to today's video on how to make queen cakes. The first thing you are going to want to do is remember to wash your hands very thoroughly and sanitize them and make sure you uh, tie up your hair, put on your apron and remove any jewellery. The first thing to do is turn on your oven to 180 degrees or gas mark 4. After lining your bun tin, the next step is to weigh out your ingredients. Make sure that your weighing scales is on zero before you put the bowl on it. After you put the bowl on it, click on off or tear, T-A-R-E, whichever one is on your weighing scale and that will give it back to zero with the additional weight of the bowl. the eggs into a jug and whisk them using a fork. Using a table knife chop the butter into smaller pieces to make it easier to mix. Using a tablespoon place the flour into the sieve and sieve into onto a plate. Repeat this process until all the flour has been sieved. The first step of making queen cakes is to soften the butter. You can either use a hand mixer or a wooden spoon. Queen cakes are made using the creaming method. This is where the sugar and butter are combined um, until the mixture becomes pale and after the butter is softened, add in the sugar and cream it until it is pale and fluffy. Take a tablespoon of egg and a tablespoon of flour and fold it into the mixture. Folding is a gentle way of stirring in ingredients so that the air does not get knocked out of the mixture. Repeat this step until all of the egg and all of the flour has been um, folded in. When transferring the bun mixture into the tin, use a tablespoon and a teaspoon to transfer the mixture in. The teaspoon will help scrape off any excess mixture into the cupcake. When melting chocolate, be careful not to overcook it. Um, chocolate can burn really easily, so just give it 30 seconds and then take it out, stir it, and give it another few seconds if it needs it. Then all you need to do is just spread the chocolate on top of the buns and place whatever decoration you would like on top and enjoy. 